someone watching now probably noticed that if you notice that then uh, yeah and that's very good but okay so let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, code again then so I'm gonna refresh the page and enter my name uh, now you can see my name's appeared so just that semicolon making our whole application not working uh, you'll notice that we've got Alex in here uh, and it's relayed um, the data back to us so now that that functionality is complete let's go ahead and duplicate the tab uh, and enter another name okay so you can see that now in both tabs we've got Billy and Alex and, and uh, you know the the data is essentially being relayed out let's go ahead and browse our table again so okay after much uh, debugging or trying to find out that particular error we now have this functionality complete the only thing we have now left to do is the unload so we want to remove the username from the table so what we're essentially doing is we're, we're repeating the same process as we did here so we use exactly the same post request but we just change the action uh, obviously we still supply the username so the username remember still stored up here so we can use that to pass again uh, and delete that as well so uh, we use a post HTTP request we send two parameters to this and that is uh, the first one is the file obviously users.php and the second is the username and then the action so remember the username we defined as the variable name username and we're sending the username and then the action that we're sending is left uh, so now that we uh, send this on the window close or the window unload uh, we can go ahead in here and define our uh, function down here or our or add to our if statement so um, at the end of this we want to say else if action is equal to left and if the action is equal to left we want to call uh, the user left function okay so let's go up and modify the user left function or create our user left function so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and again sanitize the username because we have the potential for SQL injection so that's my SQL real escape string and in there we'll go the username that we've already passed and we want to go ahead and apply HTML in fact we don't really need to apply HTML entities uh, to this in this case uh, because we're only deleting from the database so the query is going to be uh, obviously in our MySQL query function we want to say delete from users where username is equal to user underscore name name not none now there is a problem here uh, in the fact that if two users were to have the same username uh, they both would be deleted because we have a, uh, a query here that deletes uh, obviously um, all users with the username that's specified so for example if I was to go ahead uh, and duplicate this once again and I was good to go ahead and type in Billy again uh, this is fine we've now got two Billy users however when we close this window uh, you'll notice that oh okay yeah so uh, right okay so yeah we haven't obviously created this functionality yet uh, but when we do close the window when this works uh, we'll be deleting uh, this username uh, all usernames with the same username so you can go ahead and in your own time work out how you would change this uh, if you want to uh, learn a bit more about about this and test yourself so now that we've done that uh, we're essentially done with that so let's go ahead and actually call the function uh, so the function is uh, user left and we supply this uh, a user name so simple we're now done uh, let's go over to our browser uh, I'm just going to start by closing this and deleting all the records in the database just so we can start from fresh and test it so let's delete all records in there and let's go back to uh, the front okay so Alex uh, oh, okay so I don't think that worked properly let's delete them yes okay so I'm gonna go ahead and enter Alex Alex is then stored in the database and is displayed out on the page so we've got Alex there uh, I'm then gonna go ahead and duplicate this tab and I'm gonna type in Billy so Alex and Billy now exist in the table uh, or the database table I'm gonna duplicate again and type Julie so we've now got three users that appear to everyone that's logged into this particular page shown online now I'm going to go ahead and delete uh, and close Julie's tab 
and open up these and you can see that we only have the two names remaining now that the session that contained the variable Julie has gone uh, it was deleted from the database as well because we passed it through uh, to be deleted using our PHP script so now I'm going to go ahead and close this Billy one and you'll see that we have just left with Alex so overall this is a really good concept to get to grips with with regards to jQuery's um, you know unload functionality and the, and the document ready functionality uh, where you can go ahead and actually use HTTP requests again in jQuery uh, I didn't you know I tried not to base this too much around PHP um, but we set an interval which uh, isn't a jQuery function but it does the job and inside here we send data so we're sending data in three different instances so if you haven't you know if you've felt uncomfortable with uh, HTTP request in jQuery uh, then you should have learnt quite a bit about this uh, we've passed a couple of variables here uh, one variable here and most importantly we've kept everything inside one users.php file which is extremely important with regards to file um, handling uh, or or file um, and uh, you know ensures that we don't have too many files with too many requests so we've kept it all nice and neat and tidy um, and obviously using this concept you can go ahead and expand uh, and create something that you know works more like a chat system uh, if it's database based it's usually you know quite straightforward like this code has been quite straightforward uh, and you can usually usually achieve a really nice uh, effect using these combinations so that was uh, a quick demonstration or quite a long demonstration of uh, quite a basic uh, you know ability to store and display to different users uh, depending uh, where and where they're logged in and what they have typed